Hey, Coach, I'm just wondering uh, how familiar you are with Run DMC, first of all, and secondly, do you expect everybody to participate in late night? Uh, I don't think. Second question first, Shay, I don't know that Kyle Cuff will be able to. He's on the court doing some stuff, but it's it's non-contact, so I don't know if he'll be cleared to uh, – uh, let me get this out of the way. I don't know if he'll be cleared yet to uh, to participate. I don't anticipate that. I think it'll be next week sometime, so – Everybody but Kyle will participate and, and uh, uh, run DMC. I'm very familiar with them. I uh, walk this way with uh, uh, Steven Tyler. It's tricky and my Adidas. So that, that makes me pretty much a hip hop expert, I believe. Are you familiar with them, Shay? Absolutely. You are? Absolutely. So, are, you, I, I, so are you coming then? I'll, I'll be there front and center, I hope. <laughs> Bill, is Remy uh, back from the ankle? Yeah, he's back. He, I, don't, I don't think he's quite 100%. It may not be, they, they said, for another week to 10 days. It's kind of at a high ankle sprain. But he's back participating, going through everything. So he'll be able to go. Tomorrow is the start of official practice. Is that true? Yeah, I, th I think I think we could legally start today, uh, if I'm not mistaken, with the 42 days prior to our first game. But we're going to start tomorrow, and uh, uh, and go to tomorrow, then off Thursday, and then we'll get really going beginning uh, uh, on Friday. Even though it's late night day, we'll practice earlier that day. So. Uh, uh, so yeah, we, our guys, we'll, we'll, we'll start hooking up, even though we've been hooking up some, but it, it'll get real here starting tomorrow. Hey coach with, with late night is, is it the same kind of recruiting tool that it has always been? I mean, has that changed over the years at all? Or how, how do you view that? Uh, Matt, I actually do think it's the same type of, 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 of event that it's always been. And of course, you know, it's no secret, you know, uh, schools want to bring in prospects when they're having energy and, and uh, things like that. And we're one of the, the several schools out there that does something like this. So uh, I hope it is. Uh, uh, we're not putting all our eggs in that basket, maybe as much as we used to, though. Yeah. It used to be we would bring in a lot of guys. Uh, uh, and, and that's not necessarily the case as much uh, uh, right now. But, but, uh, but, but uh, I certainly hope it's fun for all. I guess that's the best way I could say it. Why not, uh, you know, why have you changed uh, from previously, you know, not putting all your eggs in one basket in that way? For late night? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's hard to have uh, that many kids in and give them all the proper attention they deserve. We found it better to uh, spread it out. So that way families and individuals can get individual attention all, as opposed to just kind of, uh, uh, dealing with everybody as a group. And we think families actually enjoy that more as well. Hey coach, I wanted to ask you about the point guard spot. What can we expect from Remy Martin and Joe Yesifu? And what kind of role do you see Dewan Harris taking on this season? Well, I think, I think you just, you just hit it. Uh, and throw Bobby Pettiford in there too. So those would be the four guys. Kyle, probably not as at you know, coming early, he's probably, a little bit of time away from from cracking that foursome, but those would be the four guys that are not fighting for one spot that are fighting for probably one and three quarter spots. Uh, we can certainly play big like we did last year, and play, let's say CB and Ochai or or or, or uh, Jalen or or, or Jalen Coleman, Coleman Lands. We can certainly play those guys at the two, three, four, so to speak. But there's going to be more times this year where we play two of those four together that you just mentioned. So it's going to, it's going to be right now. It's, I would say that, that Dewan, because him, him being around is probably uh, uh, if we were going to play tomorrow, I would say he'd get the majority of the minutes just because he's been around, but that's also uh, us uh, with the understanding that Remy hadn't been here. You know, Remy, Remy was here and then he wasn't even healthy two of the weeks he was here. And then he wasn't here in the summer for the most part, only here for two practices in the summer. So he's not at the same stage. So he's comfort level away from doing that. Those will be, you know, one of those two will start a point. Uh, uh, but I can see them both playing a lot together. 
Joseph is really more of a combo than he is a point. Uh, but that's how we, that's when we usually had our best teams playing with a couple of combos. So, you know, he's in the mix as well. But, but when he's in the game, I, I anticipate Juan or Remy or possibly Bobby being in the game with him, if that makes sense. And then what has just impressed you most about Bobby Pettiford's game so far? He's been hurt, so I haven't seen him. He was hurt the whole summer. He wasn't 100%. He's just now getting to the point where he's close, but he's very explosive. He can change directions. He can play off a ball screen. Uh, uh, he's a pretty good shooter. He needs to get more consistent, but I just think he's uh, uh, experienced a way from really being – has a chance to maybe be the next really good one we had. Uh, uh, but he's experienced away from being that right now. How, how ready are, are these guys? You got so many new faces. I mean, uh, you just mentioned a minute ago, it's going to get turned up a little bit when practice really goes. How, how ready are they? Uh, I actually think that we're ready to practice, but we're not near ready to play. Uh, uh, I, th I think that we had, we had a, a, a really good boot camp, probably great boot camp. You know, our health is pretty good, even though we are dealing with some things that everybody deals with. Uh, I think we have a lot of nice pieces, but the person that's probably not as ready as anybody is me, because I don't have an idea yet on how it all fits. So, so I, they, they may be more ready to practice than I am to actually understand what we have in practice. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how all the pieces fit once we get comfortable together. But we're yeah. still... But man, we're, we're, I'm telling you, most, most years, like, like in, in 07 and 08, when those kids were all freshmen and you knew you had them back and they were sophomores and juniors, I mean, we, we, we were into uh, 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 how we're going to attack a matchup zone the first week of practice. Sure. sure. This, this year, we may be into that uh, the week of the first game because there's just so many other things that we got to get to uh, to get everybody comfortable and to know what everybody would do well in those situ how they would play well in those situations that it's pretty much an unknown for me because we have so many new guys. Yeah. I, I was going to follow up with basically that thing. Cam, Cam Martin said maybe a week and a half ago that, that the coaches were bringing really good energy and, and how much of that has fallen on your staff to, to, to try to morph all these guys into being ready. And, and have you had to change much you or your coaches, what you've done for these guys or is, you, you expect them to catch up and, and find their way. Uh, I, I, I don't know that we've changed a lot. Uh, I think we're going to go slower uh, than we have in the past, which will be very boring for our older guys. But, but uh, uh, I think we have to do that. Uh, uh, I think I got to learn how to practice with 18 guys out there too. Uh, you know, not everybody will be getting reps, many reps all the time, especially maybe some walk-ons, but but even with 14 scholarship players, that, that's going to be a little bit different on how to practice. Uh, instead of having two teams, you can almost feel three uh, if you wanted to do it that way. Uh, but I, I think this is going to be a learning experience for me also early on to kind of see how hard you can push these guys and how much you can throw at them, you know, and how fast you can. So, uh, but I, I think the coach, you know, all, all players tell you guys stuff that you want to hear, you know, there's, they're professionals at that. And, and I, I hope Cam means it when he says the coaches have brought more energy, because I do think our coaches are very excited about this team. Do you see minutes for the freshman bigs? Uh, well, there's two, that'd be KJ and, and Zach. And they're two of our, they, they've probably been our two most impressive freshmen so far in large part because of health, but, but, uh, uh, they're both good players, but whether or not they're going to be able to help us beat Michigan State in game one or help us beat, uh, uh, you know, St. John's in game six or win a tournament in Orlando in games four and five and six or whatever it is, uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, uh, but they're going to be really good players. We got time for a couple more, please. Coach, with guys like Zach and KJ, how do you – how do you help them remain patient and not want it right away? I mean, is there a, I probably, I, I haven't talked to them about that. So okay. uh, that'll be something that, that we probably will talk about, but I want to give them the chance to beat, beat guys out. Mm -hmm. So I, I haven't come to any conclusions that this guy's a backup or this guy's a starter. I, 
I, I really haven't, even though you would think the veterans would have the, 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 the edge in which they probably do right now, but you get, you get certain guys comfortable uh, where, they're, where they're reacting and playing to their athletic ability. I could see that changing as well. So I, I, I haven't, I have patience is, is going to be something we probably talk about, but I don't know that I want to talk about that yet. I want them to think they got a shot because they actually do if they play better. Uh, nothing's predetermined yet. What have you seen? What do you from, think about uh, after all the troubles with COVID last year, how exciting will it be to possibly have a full house? And uh, are you looking forward to that personally, a full house? I, I will say this. I just said this to Serene earlier. Uh, you know, CB's class is the only class uh, 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 that that's, you know, that, and he's a junior. His class is te technically a junior that has seen what Kansas basketball is about. Uh, nobody did last year. There was no late night. There was no uh, fans in attendance, so to speak. Uh, uh, obviously very limited capacity. Uh, and then the kids that you recruited, none of them visited because you couldn't visit during COVID. So they all came based on uh, their feel for Zoom calls like this or whatever. So nobody has felt energy yet, except, you know, uh, uh, the guys that have been here for more than two years. So I, I, I'm actually excited for them to feel that. I, I hope our fans show up and and uh, one thing that I would say, it's, it's been a long time since anybody uh, 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 at any school from a basketball standpoint had any fun with, from, a, from a crowd standpoint, energy and all that stuff. No, nobody in America, you, you can have fun by winning, but the feel is, was so much different. Uh, this is the first time, and, and we may be the first team in America to have the opportunity to, to feel what it's supposed to feel like. So I, I, and I hope our fans, also think about it you know it's time for us to have some fun too i mean uh i know that's how i feel and i and I, i've talked to others that feel that way but there's been a lot of things that that we haven't been able to do due to the pandemic and and protocols but you know this is this is a situation in which uh it's opened up uh we can put sixteen thousand in here uh we'll be masked up but you know mask up uh, uh in a situation that we can actually go be social and enjoy each other and have some fun sounds like something that we've been missing out for a while for 18 months or whatever. So I hope people are excited about that. What have you seen from Cam Martin so far? Uh, he's been good. You know, he's, he's, he's not really a five man. We're playing him at the five. He's not, he's a undersized five. He's really a more of a, a pick and pop guy. And the way we play, he's going to be asked to play inside some, I, I think he can play bigger, uh, but I think he's, I think he's got pace and he's getting more comfortable and, you know, he can shoot the basketball. He, he's a guy in a, in, in a certain game could shoot five and make four. Uh, he's also a guy that could shoot five and make one. Uh, but the fact that, that, that he's a guy that can stretch it, he'll give us a whole nother dimension when he's in the game. Is David ready to go after his off season? Yeah, I think so. I, I don't know that he's a hundred hundred, but, but he's been cleared by the staff and, 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 He's practicing full speed. He's ready to go. His timing's not great yet, but it, it will be. It just takes time. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Let's go. Hey, hey, Jesse, nice talking to you. Nice talking to you, too. Vincent, nice talking to you. Great questions, guys. <laughs> DJ, always yeah. great to talk to you, man. <laughs> See you, dudes. See you, coach.